Okay. Yeah, all right. Welcome, welcome. All right. <laughs> I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Die too young. Hundred miles per hour might crash cause a good die young. Yeah, a good die young. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'ma be the greatest from my name. What's good, people? It's your boy Worldwide Lord coming to you once again with another one. Today we are going to La Boca. And supposedly, I've heard this is like a mythical spot. If you know anything about Argentina, you know that soccer is taken serious here. I was talking to somebody I met earlier, and he was pretty much saying, if you think about any team in any sport in any country, and you try to compare them to La Boca's fan base, it will be no comparison. So I gotta see that to believe it, because I'm thinking like Yankees, Duke Blue Devil, Dallas Cowboys. I don't believe that, so we gonna have to see. So we in the streets right now. Right now I'm walking from Palermo. We just vibing, man. Taking you guys to La Boca. We're gonna see what it's talking about. So you can tell it's game day here, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got the fucking jerseys on. And if you see my Medellin vlog. You know, when I go to soccer spots, like this shit gets crazy. The way that my homie was describing this, the bulk is about two steps short of joining a cult. So that's some pretty big words, man. I don't, that's kind of crazy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like I said, we headed to La Boca today. I got my wingman, West with me. This the brother in crime, Worldwide West. It's your boy, Worldwide Lord. And we about to go to La Boca today, man. We got, and you been already, right? Yeah, I already been. So how, how what did you think about it? Um, it was dope. Definitely in the hood, for sure, for sure. Um, okay. Besides it being in the hood, very colorful area, and um, it should be crazy today because I got that soccer game. So. Yeah. You said the bus system is like the subway system here? Yeah. And uh, a famous author once said, girls are like buses. Mix one, next 15, one coming. That's Gucci man for you guys. Good old Roderick Davis. And then he goes, Burr! and I was like, that is classic. Gucci man, so I'd always be like, Bruh! <laughs> I love him. I'm about to catch the bus, man. And I encourage y'all if you're going somewhere and you stay here for a while, you're not in a rush, catch the bus, go use the subway, don't use Ubers all the time, or you know, just to get to where you're going. You gotta actually live like you wanted them, you know what I'm saying? So get the real experience. Yeah. Five, 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 yeah, they definitely outside, man. We got our man to help us. Uh, yeah, so Linda's mujer acá. Ah, sí, 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 muy linda, muy linda. 
But yeah, we got our man to help us, man. He just said you get off and you walk and you're gonna run into the party, man. Today is a big day. Uh, my guy right here. Diga hola, mi amigo. Hola. Hola. Hey. Hola, 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 hola. My man just tried to offer me a drink. He ain't finna roofie me. Yeah, it was, it was yeah, fat. He ain't even have a bottle. He said, you can drink out of my shit. <laughs> but yeah, you can tell the vibe right now is like, it's game day. This is, just, <laughs> it's, it's game day. We out here. Oh yeah, they really outside. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> As soon as I walked in here, I, I knew exactly what he was talking about because, like, they, they clapped me, yelling, screaming. Dude. Mucho gente acá. Bro, look at shit. Stephanie. I knew it was going to be some crazy shit. With the blinkies, boy, strap with the blinkies not going. Boy, strap with the blinkies. I get lost. I get lost because we would not be found in this I'm just interested to see like the camera out there by the police. They beat. Hey y'all, so this is how crazy it is. They lined up to the police for a football game. But I mean when we lined up to the police in America, it's something totally different. <laughs> it's something totally different. Nigga pointed at me, don't point at me. Hey, would you say this is crazier than the Columbia game? From nah, what you see so far? That, uh, I wouldn't yeah. say so. I mean, I nah, yeah, definitely, because number one, like, they were just, wasn't no running. In the Columbia game, wasn't no running, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, wasn't no police just, like, hella posted up. Here, yeah. they serious. It's, it's, we still got two hours to the game, bro. Yeah, yeah. Man, you guys see the stadium. So you cannot drink in the stadium. So now we gotta chug these. <sighs> Which y'all know it ain't nothing to me. My boy Wes over there struggling. My boy Wes over there struggling. <laughs> but I do this. Put this shit quick so you can go. I don't know what he was saying, but. You better watch how you talk to me, I know that. <laughs> yeah, man, no reason. Yeah, I'm bad. Relax, man, come on there. Oh, yeah, they stopped that whole group now, too. Probably doing it in increments. Oh, yeah. Hey, yo, they serious out here. So how you feel, man? Right now, I'm feeling like we finna get a dope-ass experience. Like, what we've seen so far is dope. But what's actually inside is finna be pretty crazy. Because they're so excited and game time no start for like another two hours. What are they so excited for two hours before tip off? Like, like. 
¿Dónde son, compa? ¿Qué? ¿De dónde vienen? Uh, Estados Unidos. ¿Y tú? Acá, acá, acá. ¿Dónde está tu favorito, uh, favorito restaurante? Acá. Necesito comer. La glorieta de Quique, pero enfrente de la cancha, pero ahora... ¿La cancha? En la puerta, en sí. la puerta principal, enfrente. Sí, enfrente. Pero ahora, no sé si está abierto, está, por ahí está cerrado, pero enfrente. ¿Qué? Cash. Que era el primer jefe de la barra brava de Boca. Sí, sí, entiendo. Enfrente de la, de la puerta principal, ahí está. Cash. Ah, la glorieta de Kike. Yo, so what I thought was gonna be stupid lit, was actually just kind of lit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they pretty much have it blocked off. If you want to get to the arena, to the stadium, you have to have a ticket. So I guess what that does is that, you know, cuts down on a lot of the just motherfuckers just hanging out, you know, chilling by the stadium when they don't got no business being there, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But but we still gonna be in the area. We still about to go to some bars and we gonna see what's going on. Wild. Wild. Hello. Oh, what up, boys? What up, brothers? Bring them in. Oh, I can smell a nigga around this <laughs> And y'all know, if any of y'all know, y'all been watching my story. If I see one motherfucker shooting basketball, I gotta go get him. They love fucking football. Bro. Beautiful man. This shit is beautiful. Hey. Hey. You see? Gracias, hermano. Sí. Nah, 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 nah. Good job, baby. One on one. Ah, bless your fucking ass, bro. All right, man. This food smelling good, man. Where we eating at? Hola, cómo está? So we can really just walk through, bro. This is tunnel. Oh, this is oh, oh, yeah. it's yeah. Okay, okay. Into the end. Okay, they got him. Now that's some, now that's some fat meat right there. Ah, fat meat, huh? Yeah. Grazie, grazie. Spicy. Spicy? She said it's spicy. Hola, hola, hola. She finna grip walk, ain't it? You gotta get the fuck me out there. Oh, they about to go crazy, look. You see it? They about to go crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They ain't got shit on Devin Brown and Atlanta A&T, I know that. For Morris Brown when you need her. Hola, hola. hola. Tu habla inglés? Eh, eh, little. A little bit? A little. A little. But, eh, ay, pero no me feel. Ah, sí, sí, sí. sí, sí. <laughs> <laughs> nervous, nervous. <laughs> Nigga trying to pay me like a watch, watch me battle. La quiero por veces es así, con su corazón de grillo. Le gusta lo mismo que a mí, el café. I mean, it ain't juveniles back that ass up, but I guess it'll do, huh? <laughs> hey, y'all, he's sick of me, bro. Yo, I'm sitting up here waiting on the bathroom, man. These are the moments that I really cherish because not everybody can be in the situation I'm in. 
You know what I'm saying? Not even saying I, I'm just big balling, shot calling. But I'm saying I'm in Argentina for the month. You know, drinking a brew. Yeah, big boys eat, Wes. Big boys eat. I mean, $10 big boys eat. Ten dollar steaks. We just got we just got done eating. We got two steaks, rice, vegetables, uh, two beers, all for forty dollars, man. So you gotta love it, you know. So now we're about to just go watch the game somewhere, uh, you know, just to be in the ambiance. But I think we finna go to this spot. Que paso? Que paso? <laughs> but yeah, I think we finna go to this little bar with the locals. Let's do it. Que paso, que paso? Que paso, man? Bien, bien, tú? So when we walked into this bar, we immediately got greeted by everybody. You could tell it was a friendly environment. And to be honest, they didn't give a fuck about us. All they cared about was the damn game. It didn't matter. In this bar, you can tell people have been coming here for years. It's a family-oriented environment, and you can tell that these people bond over soccer. Keep in mind, the game hasn't even started yet. And look at these people. And it's safe to say this guy's the ringleader. <laughs> back to the spot man a very crazy experience didn't step foot in the game we just going we just running around now we're going to wrap this thing up definitely come to La Boca uh I would I would suggest that you come in the daytime because judging by the infrastructure this this ain't just a place you need hey, to be in the hood yeah <laughs> that's what he's trying to say yeah, this ain't just a place you need to be without you know, no pass. You might need a pass. Hey you might need a pass. It's gonna be a little dangerous. Hey, they say big soldier ain't from the hut. They say big soldier ain't from the hood. But yeah, man, we about to uh, wrap this thing up. I'm gonna head back to the crib, and then we gonna get out tonight, man. See what see what the streets got. But yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, and follow. And if you don't, fuck you. Hey. Ah, está bien. Sí, 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 está, está. Eh, ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó, hermano? Sí. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Sí, oh, California. Los Angeles. Sí, sí, sí. 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 No, 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 no. Está bien, está bien. Está bien, está bien. Está bien, gracias. Está todo bien. Está todo bien. Todo caminando. Yeah, facts. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> all right. Hey, you see, uh, these motherfuckers calling us pussies and bitches. But, <laughs> but they gonna have to catch me first. <laughs> I'll come here to the police. Excuse me, sir. How you feel about that? Uh, if it my was money's long and I'm balling and they not. Come on, talk to me. That's the fact. Talk man. to me. What's good, people? As you can see, I'm in beautiful, beautiful Buenos Aires. What a view. What a city. I just wanted to come over here and get my thoughts about what happened yesterday. Um, I just recently posted my first impressions video. And in the video, I was talking about how people were saying it's racist here. And in the comments of my video, uh, people were saying like, oh, it's not racist here. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. And I just want to clarify, first and foremost, it's racist everywhere. No matter how you look at it, there is racism everywhere. What happened yesterday, 
we were walking, we were walking around and uh, we were about to leave. So we were in a rush and so a bunch of guys was like uh, real desperate for us to, you know, come watch the game with them. And we we're like, no, no, we don't. We're good. We don't want to watch the game. You know what I'm saying? We're about to leave. But thank you anyways. Being real polite. You know what I'm saying? And then as we got further on down the street, somebody decided to call us the N word. Somebody decided to call us pussies, bitches. And like, that's not going to hurt my feelings at all. But one thing I want to say, the people that are saying there's no racism here. Now, wait a minute. Do y'all see what I see? Do you see what I see? Are completely wrong because there's racism everywhere in the world. Are you surprised? Are you, why is that so, uh, 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 why is that so mind blowing? But one thing I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna say that all of Argentina is racist. To me, there's way more racism in America than anywhere in the world. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna say all of America is racist. I'm not gonna let one group of stupid people doing stupid things take away from a beautiful country. Don't think that Argentina or Buenos Aires is racist because there are a few stupid people in the bunch. And out of thousands of people that I've met in the month that I've been here, that's the only time that happened to me. I'm going back to La Boca Sunday to actually watch the game. I didn't feel unsafe there. And I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know the people that are watching this from my vlog, don't let stupid people stop you from going to see a beautiful country. People have been helping me here. I've been lost. People have helped me. People are intrigued about where I've come from, uh, intrigued on why I'm even here. You know, they want to help out. They want to know what's going on. So to all my people watching this thinking like, oh, man, I'm not going to go to Buenos Aires now. Don't ever let one group of people ruin a whole experience for you. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I love the city of Buenos Aires. People have been nothing but nice to me except for on that occasion. So to all my friends in Buenos Aires, I don't want to paint this picture wrong. I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to make it look like I'm saying that Buenos Aires is racist because I'm black. I've been black my whole life. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that. I've been black my whole life. No other race. Listen, I'm going to make this clear. I'm in no way, shape or form involved in any negative. And this has happened to me on many occasions and many places. People try to get a reaction out of you and get a rise out of you. You know what I'm saying? So that's just me saying my piece. It's me telling you guys exactly what happens. I want y'all to know I love Buenos Aires. And if I didn't love Buenos Aires, I wouldn't stay. But I've been here a month and I extended my stay for two more weeks. Uh, then I think I'm going to go to Brazil. To those other people that called us names, fuck you. All right? Fuck you, dude. Right there. Also, to my Argentinian people. If you have any comments, you have any suggestions, you can leave a comment below in the comment section or you can head over to my Instagram. Make sure you follow me and shoot me a message and we can talk on there. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Let me know y'all's opinions. Anyways, y'all stay tuned for the next vlog. Make sure you like, subscribe and follow. Peace.